Hello and welcome guys. Hope you're doing well. So this is the output that we will be building by end of the video. So let's get started. Uh, this is a drawer that contains information regarding payment history, ride history and other information. So let's implement this in that video. Okay guys, as you can see, I have opened home.dart file that contains all the code regarding map and all the logic that we have built up till now. So this file is quite uh, lengthy. As you guys can see, it's 534 lines of code are there. So don't worry, we'll be uh, refactoring it in the later videos. So basically, this is the build method that contains a drawer let's see how inside this drawer i have a simple widget of drawer then i have column then i have a drawer header of 150 height that contains the image of the user and then it have column that have two text widgets right so we are done 10 here and then i have created a useful widget uh, for this purpose okay uh, payment history write history so as you guys can see after this i have size box of 20 uh, suddenly and then i have a container that contains a padding of horizontal 30 pixel as you guys can see uh, this is the text and we have 30 pixel of padding right over here okay uh, then i have a widget called build drawer item that expects few parameters like title and on press let's see what inside drawer build drawer item so this is the function of build drawer item this function is basically responsible for showing these information also do more get food delivery this all stuff okay so this function basically expects title on press color font size font weight and height okay these are uh, required parameters First of all, I have given a size box of height. Uh, let me show you. In this case, I have given uh, tile 45 height. And in this case, I have given uh, tile uh, 20 height, okay? In order to show difference. Now, the next thing is, uh, we are already passing the title and on press function that I'm showing to the list tile. In the list tile, sorry. And basically i have called this widget for all the information till logout as you guys can see right over here after doing this uh, then i have created a space between the widgets then i put a divider after divider i have again container of padding uh, and that contains again build drawer item but in this case as you guys can see we have different decoration from the above one so I am passing some extra uh, information to like font size is 12, uh, font width is bold, color black and height is 20 ok. If I, if I show you the default height is 45. So in case of the big text we are not passing any height. So this means that it expect the default height and that is 45 okay guys we just left one small thing that is we have to show this uh, count in front of write history so now as we know that we have a build drawer item and that contain a title let's add a row for that and then we have to call circle avatar uh, color should be background color app colors dot and we have to import app colors that contain green color then we have to provide the radius of 15 and we have to provide child of text for now let me show one and style should be google fonts dot poppins and color should be white okay As a result, you guys can see it is showing on all the uh, widgets, on all the elements. So now we have to restrict it, it only for the right history. And another thing, we have to add some spacing. Uh, 
uh, 5 will be enough yeah so the logic is very simple we just have to show it for the write history so let's add another parameter is visible and let's make it false we just have to apply right over here is visible if it is visible then we have to show this otherwise empty container will work out of the box so now make this true in case of write history and that's it guys we are done with it uh, thank you so much for watching the video uh, let's meet in the next video